Evo tu. No. Yes. Yes. No. We are here. Yes. How should we start? Hello YouTubers, welcome to the Ask Me Anything episode with the Sinkovich brothers. So today, a lot of you ask questions on my Instagram to ask the Sinkovich brothers while we're here on training camp in Croatia. So, welcome to the Sinkovich brothers. Thank you very much for being here and ask, answering the questions. Do you have anything to say to the Yam Squad before we get started? Hey to everyone, nice to watch us. <laughs> yeah, hi everyone. Um, I hope we will answer all the questions. <laughs> and so for those of you that don't know, the Sinkovich brothers here have won a, a few Olympic medals and they're very, very quick. And speaking of speed, will be a lot of the questions were related to their speed on the rowing machine, so their 2K or their 6K. And so we'll reveal those speeds at the end of the video, so make sure you watch the whole thing to find out. So they've won multiple Olympic medals, but it's not just, so some people win Olympic medals in the same boat class, but for you guys, we'll do multiple different boat classes. So in the double and in the pair. In the and, one. and in the quad. Most recently in the double. <laughs> yeah. And so with the, a lot of the questions were related to sort of the double and the pair. And so we'll start off with, what is your favorite between the two? The double or the pair? Double, definitely. Double. It's much better for us. Easy question. <laughs> the first question is easy one. <laughs> we are so happy to be back in the double. And so why why is a double your favorite of the two? Yeah, so double definitely sculling. Yeah. Because uh, in Croatia when you start to row you, you just start to sculling. Yeah. Uh, when you go to sweep sweep rowing, you're just going later and we always stay to the, uh, on the sculling so we are much more uh, like much more doing sculling than, than sweeping so we are much better in sculling i would say sweeping is like a learned yeah. new new thing <laughs> and so how before uh, you got into the for the olympics yeah how much sweep had you done prior maybe two weeks a year that's it <laughs> so very very low and yeah. not much but i think we find ourselves Okay, with the sweep rowing, the problem was pair and the balance of the boat. Yeah. I think that was the biggest problem. <laughs> and another question, a really interesting one. I probably never have uh, asked, been asked this before. Someone asked, how did you guys meet? Oh, that's a tough question. Mm, yeah. I don't remember. <laughs> I can honestly say I don't remember. <laughs> Do you remember how you guys met? <laughs> that's a really good question. <laughs> <laughs> but on a more serious note, uh, a lot of people ask about motivation and pushing yourselves. You guys obviously go very fast in the water, very fast in the rowing machine and can push yourselves. And so, for you Martin, how do you push yourself? Yeah, I, I love to train, I love rowing and I love this lifestyle, obviously, because I wouldn't be that much years in it if I don't love it. So. That, that's my motivation. I like to push myself over the limit. Of course, sometimes it came the bad day that you don't want to go on the training or you feel bad, you don't want to train hard, yeah. but then you are thinking that you can lose the race because of that one training, yeah. so I did it anyway. And so for you, Valak, for it's kind of similar, but it's more on the motivation side. How do you, so you've, you've been through multiple Olympics, how do you motivate yourself? year on year on year. Yeah, it's, it's really similar yeah. to Martin. I really like rowing, like to train. Love, like Martin said, like that lifestyle yeah. to be a professional athlete. And uh, like winning, yeah. definitely. <laughs> but uh, I'm more like, uh, not just in the sport, in uh, every aspect of life. I don't like to lose yeah. in anything. So. Maybe that's a big motivation for me not to lose. <laughs> and so that kind of ties into a lot of the questions about, so you're very competitive. And so yeah, yeah. does that help, being brothers, does that get in the way or does that help? I think train? it helps us a lot because it's easier. Sometimes we are living together on the training camp for four weeks and it's easier to be with your brother and you can say to your brother some things. You won't say to somebody else and 
you can take a lot, lot more things from your brother than from somebody else. Yeah. So you'd say you're, you two are faster <laughs> because your brother's you. Yeah, and when Martin uh, don't do something good, I just punch him. And <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm a younger brother, so I need to take it. <laughs> so on to the next question. If you could, so you're very successful, and if you could sort of say or do one thing that are that can pin it down to why you are being successful, what would that one thing be? Yeah, I would say yeah, I would say maybe consistent, like do it every 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 day, every year, over and over again. Yeah. Not not to be to to go good or to go hard for a few weeks of the year or something like that. Just just repeatedly go hard and do your best. Yeah. I would say maybe the for us that's the main main thing. Yeah. Yeah. I agree, hundred percent. And then, so weights, weights is a big sort of thing that comes up with training and so you guys do weights yeah. in your training program. Some people think it's you have to do weights, other people think it's just a, a side part of the program. What's your sort of opinion on weightlifting in your program? I think definitely it is the side program but you need to do it uh, right and do it good if you want to win the race. So I think the rowing is the main, definitely. You need to to get your mind more on the rowing. You need to think about the rowing more, but it's definitely important, I think. Yeah. Because rowing is a rowing sport. Rowing is rowing, <laughs> yeah, it's always. I mean, I think your focus needs to, needs to be on the rowing. So if you're fo focusing on the weightlifting too yes. much, it won't be good, but it needs to be good. Yeah. And so, last couple of questions. Oh my God. <laughs> That'd be hard. If you were to go back to your junior, you're young, you're, you don't know what the world <laughs> has in store for you, uh, what would your one piece of advice be to yourself or to the junior? Yeah, I would say maybe just to be more patient. Because when I was younger, I wasn't patient and when I did some bad training or special race, of course, I was destroyed. I think to think about that a long time. And now, during the years, uh, I'm much more relaxed about it and everything. I know if you do some bad training, that's normal. You can't go always fastest or, or the best. And I'm more relaxed about it then. Yeah, for me it would be enjoy the sport, enjoy the rowing, enjoy the training. Because when I was 16 or 17, I didn't like to row that much like now. So yeah. I think that would be my advice. Yeah. Especially if you want to keep going over. Yeah, year, year. consistently years and years, definitely. And now I'm enjoying it and my life is better yeah. Yeah. when I start to enjoy the training. Yeah. <laughs> Before we get to the biggest part of this episode, was there sort of one thing you would like to say to the YAM squad that could help them in their journey? Apart from the one thing that you tell as a junior. Yeah, well, may, maybe just mention our coach uh, because he is really big part of our success. Success. Uh, we have the same coach uh, like for 2007 when we became uh, seniors, and he's really good coach and. He always uh, learning new stuff. Like uh, he's now seventy years old, and still learning new stuff, and he's like the biggest part that we have a lot, lot of success. So getting getting a good coach, having a good Definitely. coach is a big part. And listen to your coach and train hard. Yeah, yeah. And you need to believe in your coach, yeah. of course. Yeah. And finally, the end of the episode. But before we finish off we've got to talk about your scores. So here in Croatia, you, you mostly do 6Ks, on, yeah. you don't do 2Ks, uh, 5Ks. So yeah, we never yeah, do. Yeah, 6K never and 2K. And they're, some are on sliders, some aren't on sliders? Mostly on the sliders. And we are doing what, all the training sessions on the sliders, so we are trying to do more slider tests. And so yeah, I would just say before the scores, <laughs> uh, that uh, last, I don't know how much, 
seven or eight years we do sliders, on, just sliders on the training and it, it helps us on preventing the image injury, especially lower back injury. <coughs> it's much easier to to the body to sliders, yeah. definitely. And I will recommend to everyone. Mm -hmm. There you go. So the same sliders. sliders. <laughs> <laughs> and so with um, with that, so you, do you do both the 2K and the 6K on sliders? Mm, 2K never, one, once. Yeah. Because we have a national championship competition that's on the static curves. Mm. And uh, 6K we are doing in the autumn, we are doing on the sliders. In the January, normally we are doing on the static. Okay. And we do always on sliders, but when it's competition, so then it has to be yeah. static. So we have to. Yeah. And so 6K scores. We'll so again. for the sliders it's 129.1, okay. for the static one 31.6 I think. So six. reasonably quick. Reasonably yeah, it's good, it's okay. It's, okay. it's, okay. <laughs> it's alright. Right. Could be better. <laughs> uh, well, that's what the, the 5k that was just published, the world record 5k, do you think for, so you did 31 on static, Yeah. Uh, the 5k world record in the 29s. Do you think that extra K would push you down a split? It's hard to say. <laughs> hard to, but it, but it's, 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 it's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. 129. It, it's really amazing. So Maybe he can try it today. Yeah. 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 We will kill him. So. <laughs> well, the next episode, stay tuned. <laughs> Martin, 5 kilometers. <laughs> Against the 5K. For your 6K. Right? Yeah, my 6K is on a slider 131 point something. Really. So still very quick. Yeah, and for the static I really don't know. I don't know when it no. did last time. Yeah. So, that's the matter. 6K we mostly do on the slider, so. Yeah, that's more, yeah. more important to yeah. us. And lastly, your 2K two scores. 2,000 meters. 545 point five. 5.5.5 and mine 5.46.1 No, I think it's five, I think you did one 5.45.6 or 7 I'm not sure but it's <laughs> the same it's very, it's very so simple so, 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 so is Martin the faster on a 2k? Yeah, yeah, a little bit just, 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 just a slight and, you, and, you and that, that was on static curves so. uh -huh. and you said you're, you're very competitive so does that annoy you get being beat by your brother? Yes, at the time when, when he beats me, but not that much. Yeah, yeah. He beats me after. I won't say how, but... And, and that will be it for the Ask Me Anything episode. Thank you very much for Thank answering you. the questions. They're really good. Yeah. Hopefully, the AMS one enjoyed the episode and the questions. Let us know in the comments below if you have any other questions. Might be able to get them answered. And that will be it. Do you have anything lastly to say to the AMS one before we finish off? Thank you for watching us and... See you sometime. Stay strong. <laughs> and have a good one. <laughs> <laughs>